Child, why is Zendaya coming out talking about this now, like 43 years later? She acting like we give a... Let's talk about it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Ch 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 Chi Chi. And listen, we are back for another one. Okay, we're talking about it. I don't know why, but we're talking about it, girl. Because we got content to create. So Zendaya is out and she is talking about something that happened like 10 months ago. <sighs> like the video. Now, some of y'all might remember a couple of months ago. I don't even know when this took place. I want to say it was like during one of the shows. Okay. Y'all know they be having like the Paris Fashion Week. They be having like New York Fashion Week, Tokyo Fashion Week, all of that. So it was during one of the shows. And I don't know if like she's trying. It's probably exactly what she's trying to do because we do have New York Fashion Week, you know, for the fall that's coming up in September. And so this whole story or this whole commentary on it is probably just to drum up some sort of publicity and get people interested. I don't know. Maybe she's like walking down a runway. Maybe she got a line coming out. I don't know. But if you don't remember the story, let's go ahead and get into her. Okay. So as you can see, this is a clip that the Neighborhood Talk posted. And it says, Zendaya breaks silence of a viral runway seat mixed up with Laura Roach. If I have an opportunity where he could come with me, he's always going to be there. I'm going to hit play. More than likely, y'all know how Instagram be doing, how these blogs be doing. It's probably no sound, but that's okay. Just pay attention to what's going on in the video. Okay, now before <clears throat> before we get into Zendaya coming out, I do want to take it back a little bit in time. Apparently, this happened back in spring 2023. Okay, this article was posted March 17th, 2023. As you can see, it says, "Okay, come on, Kardashians, they are, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. Are you on the list? I'm not." Okay, Laura Roach sets record straight on that viral Zendaya video from the Louis Vuitton show. Okay, let me go ahead and put me back on screen. Okay, so. Laura Roach explained what really happened in that viral video of himself and Zendaya at Louis Vuitton. Girl, at Louis Vuitton's Paris fashion show, uh, where he was left without a seat next to the ad uh, actress. Laura Roach is shutting down all the gossip. The celebrity stylist who announced his retirement on March 14th addressed the now viral video of himself and Zendaya at Louis Vuitton's recent Paris fashion show, pa fashion week show. Like, girl, fashion show. In the March 6th clip, Zendaya was seen rushing to her front row seat while Law, who arrived at the same time as the Euphoria star, was left standing in the aisle and visibly unsure of where to sit. Now, the awkward moment sparked online speculation that there was maybe tension between the stylist and his client, though Law said the rumors are far from the truth, explaining how he and Zendaya were related to the show 
wait, how, how they were late to the show due to traffic. He told the cut in an interview published March 17th that people were shuffing us as fast as possible to the seats upon arrival. It was a long walk, he recalled. So it was a lot of anxiety because, you know, Zendaya is really respectful. She doesn't really like to have people have, uh, have to wait on her. And so it was just anxiety. So as he was used to sitting next to Zendaya, Law said he became confused when there wasn't enough space for the two of them near. So, in my mind, my seat was next to her, he said. So, when I got there, and it wasn't, you know, I, it was a problem. But there was nobody to tell me where my actual seat was. Now, let's go ahead and get into this video that seems to be playing on screen. I'm not sure what the fuck it is, but, girl, we're going we gonna to get into her. Because I do have some opinions about this, because I remember what he said and how he was moving around this time period, but I also remember what he said to be politically correct. Okay, so let's get into this video. Like, I'm always used to sitting next to her. La Roach tells the real story behind that viral video with Zendaya from the Louis Vuitton fashion show at Paris Fashion Week. The celebrity stylist first made headlines on March 14th with his sudden retirement from the industry via an Instagram post. Some speculated online that his impromptu piece out may be related to a clip circulated widely around the internet. As we said, the moment happened at the LV show. In the clip, Law's longtime client, Zendaya, is seen sitting down in the front row next to Emma Stone. But there's no empty seat for Law. Zendaya turns and points to an empty seat behind her, leading some to believe she asked Law to sit there. But in an interview with New York Magazine's The Cut, posted on YouTube, he says that's not true. Like, I'm always used to sitting next to her. And so in my mind, my seat was next to her. Mm -hmm. And so when I got there... And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a problem, but nobody, there was nobody to tell me where my actual seat was, mm -hmm. right? And so the seat behind her, when you see her turn around and touch the seat, it wasn't her telling me to sit there. It was tell her telling me like, that's Darnell's seat, which is her assistant. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit in Darnell's seat, right. you know what I mean? So then where, where does he go, right? And so I was standing there looking, I was really just kind of confused. Law goes on to reiterate he is calling it quits on one aspect of the industry and gives us a view into his struggles with finding the good in it all. I am definitely 100,000% retired. I'm not retired for fashion because I love it so much. Um, but celebrity styling, being of service to other people in the way that I've been of service to them, um, I'm retired from that. I haven't been happy, honestly, in a really long time. And um the combination of everything that's been happening in my career these last few days kind of just really pushed me, pushed me over the edge and just like, you know what, like I've done everything. I'm very grateful um, that I've been able to move and climb in this industry the way I have. Um, but I, I can't say that I didn't do that without suffering. And yeah, it's, it's like, I don't want to suffer no more. I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be, um, at the beck and call of people and their teams. And, and yeah, I, I just, I'll, I want to take some time and figure out, you know, how to live. Following his retirement post and that viral video, Roach's shift in career had many fans wondering what it meant for his decade-long working relationship with Zendaya. He was quick to debunk that talk, tweeting on March 15th, so y'all really think I'm breaking up with Z? We are forever. He added, she's my little sister, and it's real love, not the fake industry love. Okay. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and get into this article, because I do want to dive a little bit deeper into um, his retirement, because I do have a couple of things to say with that. So this was posted, uh, I don't know when it was posted exactly, but I guess around that time, okay? Um, it says five months ago. So it says the story behind Law Roach's sudden retirement. Okay. Law Roach suddenly quit fashion or did he? On March 14th, Roach told his Instagram followers that he, that's a crazy last name. <laughs> Roach told his IG followers that he was retiring from the industry. And even though he'd been posting images of the celebrities whom he had just styled for the 2023 Oscars mere days prior, the question is why did Law Roach suddenly retire? Okay. Now, Law had posted this message on Instagram that said, retire, my cup is empty. Thank you to everyone who supported me in my career over the years. Every person that trusted me with their image, I'm so grateful for you all. If this business was just about the clothes, I would do it for the rest of my life. But unfortunately, it's not. You know, the politics, the lies, and false narratives finally got me. You win, dot, 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 I'm out, okay? 
Now, um, he didn't necessarily elaborate further, and it's not immediately clear whether, you know, uh, or what Roach is referring to as politics, the lies, and false narratives. Now, girl, we could do a whole deep dive on that, okay? Um, but he says, for years, Roach has been the go-to stylist to fashionable folks like Zendaya, uh, Kiki Palmer, Tom Holland, Hunter, uh, Celine Dion, Kerry Washington, Ariana Grande, Lewis Hamilton, and Lil Durk, to name, you know, but a few. Roach is also known as the only consistent judge for HBO, Vogue and series Legendary, which he joined when it debuted in 2020, over a decade after Roach's career began. You know, there's another post of somebody saying, no, celebrity stylist Law Roach has announced that he's retiring. Um, you see, there was one day in 2009 when a man named Kanye West happened into a vintage store that Roach worked at, bringing paparazzi and a rush of attention and the rest is history. And after relocating to Los Angeles, Roach uh, Roach became the image architect for Zendaya, who has singularly turned to Roach for styling throughout her career, joined America's Next Top Model as a judge, and went on to style dozens of celebrities from major carpets like the Met Gala. <laughs> um, now, nearly as famous as his clients, Law Roach is frequently seen sitting front row at fashion shows of designers like J.W. Anderson and Rick Owens when he isn't styling a runaway himself. In 2022, Roach became a bona fide designer by co-creating a capsule collection with Heritage House Harvey, uh, Harvey Lega. Okay. Suffice to say, the fans who fawned over the looks that Roach created for his clients were devastated by the news of his sudden retirement. And there's an unanswered um, question as to whether Law Roach is actually quitting the industry. And to be clear, he is not. So there's actually an article, okay? Um, let's go ahead and dive into, I guess, this article that he did. And it says, please accept my apologies for the terrible math. So that's nigh on a decade. In your Instagram post, you use the word retire. But what we're seeing tonight feels more like a transition. And Law ends up replying saying, I'm not saying I'm retiring from fashion. I love fashion. I love the business. And I love being creative. What I'm retiring from is the celebrity styling part of it. You know, the being in service and at service of other people. That's what I'm retiring from. Yeah. Okay. So these are just quotes from what the fuck we already <laughs> got into. Okay. Um... Listen, before we go ahead and jump into Zendaya now coming out 10 months later, let me go ahead and say this. I remember when Law, you know, had came out and announced his retirement. I remember, yes, yeah, social media was in a frenzy. Everybody was like, what the is going on? You know, like, what are we going to do? Because he had really became known. He honestly and truly, I'm not going to say that Zendaya would not have been anywhere. Like, it's in you. And I don't feel like one single person makes you or breaks you. I feel like different people come into your life. It's all of all a part of the karmic balance of life, right? People come into your life for a reason and a season. And um, they're part of your legacy. They're part of your journey, right? They're part of your alignment. And so whether Law had came into her life or not, I'm sure that there's somebody else who would have made Zendaya into the bad bitch that she is now. However, we do have to give credit where credit is due. Zendaya and a lot of her looks, you know, Zendaya's popularity really grew, like seriously grew because of Law, okay, and because of her being on these red carpets and like killing it and shutting it down, and then especially her being a Disney star at that, like it was like, okay, this girl is the it girl, like this is like Rihanna, but of like Hollywood and like movies and TV shows, and people took a liking to Zendaya. And then when they found out that Law was, you know, her stylist, they took a liking to him, right? So the fact that she never had initially come out, like, at the beginning, that bothers me a lot. Because when he's speaking about, basically, the politics and whatnot of the industry, I know exactly what he's speaking about. In every industry, we have things that we like and then that we don't like. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I know a lot of people in 2023 like to pretend that, okay, working a nine-to-five is so drastically different than entrepreneurship, in the most obvious ways it is, but what, secretly when it comes down to it, nobody wants to work and not get paid for the work that they do, right? Nobody wants to put in all of this work and then be working two weeks or months upon months and then not get paid. Nobody wants to put in work and then not be respected for that work that they put in. Nobody wants to come and show up to the job, whether you have a boss over you all day or it's just people that you're dealing with. Nobody wants to come be disrespected or be told what the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's certain things where you can come together and there's similarities, right? And so when it comes to what Law was going through in terms of his industry, it was a lot of those things. It was lack of money, lack of respect. You know what I'm saying? And all of this really came out because it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Let's keep it a buck. Law had already been feeling like he was going to quit, as he said. But then that whole post of, yeah, I'm retiring, was 
was because of this fashion show. Because it's like, I'm here and I'm being disrespected. I don't care how politically correct he tries to come online and make a sense. I remember, I remember during that time period, okay? And I've also seen other interviews where he was speaking on topics that wasn't necessarily about this, but he's spoken about this indirectly or whatever. And so I know damn well that's how he was feeling. He was feeling like, baby, as respected as I am, you're going to put me in the back. And that's so hair off of his back, you know, that that's not to, you know, say anything about him. We was all pretty much on that same page and agreed with him. Like, girl, like, put some respect on his name. And again, you have somebody like Zendaya that is an A-list star that has all of these relationships established, you know, the Disney girl, one of the few that made it out. Like, we can understand, we can understand her brand. But then at the same time, that this is where things start to get tricky, right? Because we talk about professionalism, and it's like you hire somebody, you want them to do a great job, and at the end of the day, as long as they do their job, that's truly what matters. But then you're always in close proximity to these people, so you end up building a relationship outside of a working relationship. You become friends. Eventually, they become family, and that's what law was to Zendaya. So a lot of people were offended when Zendaya didn't immediately speak about her in law's relationship, or at the very least, like, you know, be like, yo, I don't know what happened. Da, 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 da. Like, it's five months later. Whatever we're getting now, we should have gotten back then. And it looked weird. And it looked like Zendaya, you were moving funny. Again, we can understand all day, like professional relationships and business, and you don't want to mess up your brand. But let's be real, when you're that big of a star, like, I mean, it is what it is. If they want to mess up your brand, they will. Hello, Lizzo. Hello, boy, that was supposed to be in all the Marvel movies. Hello, Jamie Foxx. Like, when you're that big of a star, they will mess up your brand regardless of anything that you do, if they want to. So, I don't want to hear all of that. Like, she should have said something. I don't know if their relationship changed after that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I remember, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe that Laura Roach and Tiffany had it used to be cool. I feel like I, I saw a video about their whole relationship and their whole dynamic or whatever, but nonetheless, I feel like Zendaya should have spoken out. I do. Um, I've only met Laura Roach one time in my life, and this was back in like 20... 17, I want to say. This is, like, right after, like, XL Club closed down or, like, sometime around then. And um, Rich Star. I don't know if it was Rich Star or... Child, it was one of the famous New York City black gay event, you know, uh, planners or whatever. And if you're from New York City, if you go to, like, the gay clubs and, and the bars and all of that, then you kind of might know what I'm talking about. Um, but it was either, like, Yamil or Rich Star or... There's another one that I cannot think of. But we there, there was a party at, like, Pier 12 or something like that or Stage 48. Somewhere around Stage 48 or, like, 48th and 11th and 12th, somewhere over there, child. And we was in, like, some type of warehouse or whatever. And I just remember, you know, going into the party, like, everybody else just going in, going in, going in, you know, walking through the cloud, crowd, you know, trying to find a place. And, you know, if you remember my old story times I used to talk about all the time, like, how if there's a stage in the club, maybe I'm going to be on it. Okay? So that's what we was walking towards or whatever. I sit in there dancing. And at the time, you know, Top Model had did the whole reboot and came out on VH1. And so... You know, Law was a part of that. And so, standing there dancing or whatever, and then turned around, saw him, and then, you know, we started flirting with each other or whatever. And it was real cute or whatever. It was real cute. And then eventually he had to go. But Law was so fucked up. Okay, let me tell you. Law was so drunk, Chad. Or he might have been doing the whole industry thing. I don't know. I don't know. But this man had to, like, hurry up and leave or whatever. And mind you, I'm drunk as well. And he was like, oh my God, so it was so nice kicking in with you, whatever. Like, you know, text me, text me. Like, you got my number, right? Text me, text me. And rushed off, child. And I ain't never seen that man again in my motherfucking life. I, I bet you if I meet him again, he probably will not. Well, they always remember me. They always remember me. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm un, unforgettable. Okay. I'm good. Okay. But this story ain't about me. This story ain't about me. Okay. This, this is not about me. Bringing it back to Zendaya. <laughs> okay. Bringing it back to Zendaya. Um, as far as the whole thing with law, I do want to say like for everybody out there, because there's a lot of people who hold on to situations that are far expired in your life. And I kind of spoke about this a little bit in the Haley Bailey Funky Dineva video that I did. I talked a little bit about alignment. Alignment isn't just like when it comes to like a man and like, like doing self work and shadow work isn't just about wanting love or being with a man. Like it's way bigger than that. It's about your entire life. And so sometimes being out of alignment doesn't necessarily mean that you fucking up when it comes to guys or, or whatever. Like it can literally mean like things in your life need to go and you keep trying to hold on to it. And, and like I said in that video, 
everybody on this earth, no matter who you are, deals with either codependency issues or attachment and abandonment issues. Everybody. It just manifests differently. For some people, it manifests in your relationships. But in terms of law, it's manifesting in terms of his career. Because as an entrepreneur, you work, you grind, you put in a long hours to get to a point to where you want to shine and you want to do a great job. And like he said, he was unhappy for a long time. And so the whole situation that happened with Zendaya, as fucked up as it was, that was the universe stepping in and saying, okay, look, bitch, we're going to give you a red flag that you cannot deny. We're going to give you a sign that you cannot deny so that you finally get to the point where you're so sick and tired of being sick and tired and you say enough is enough. And that's exactly what the universe did. The universe heard his soul crying out, you know, for help because he was unhappy. He was ready to transition into something else, right? And that literally happens every day. That literally happens every day. Some of y'all are at jobs right now that you do not want to be at. Some of y'all are living places where you don't want to be at. Some of y'all are in relationships where you know this person isn't necessarily the best for you and that there's somebody out there better. But instead of doing better or trying to go after better, you know, some of you guys, again, have attachment issues. So where you feel like I got to be bonded to this for whatever reason. I got to be the first in my family to go to college. I got to be, you know, um, I got to be the one to make this relationship work because our grandparents didn't give up. No, baby, divorce is there for a reason. Marriage is there, but also divorce is there for a reason. Like in 2023, we're not playing that no more. We're not playing that no more. We're not, we not forever being tied into these soul ties and these karmic vibes like forever. No, baby, we, we step into alignment and align into our highest good and our highest soul. Period. And the longer that you continue in these unhappy situations like Law was doing, the more situations like him getting dissed publicly, because I'm sure that what happened with him as a diet, that that video was everywhere. Black Twitter definitely had an opinion. And even though people were on his side, it was embarrassing because you're thinking that you're that bitch. The industry got you feeling like you're that bitch. You got everybody calling you that bitch. OK, and everybody's calling you the status person, silent person da, 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 coming in. But you're still unhappy. And then it only took something like this, something so simple as them not having a seat for you, for you to realize like, oh shit, because if I was really that important, I would have had a seat. Even if it was a mix up, whatever, how do you mix up something like that? You, you wouldn't do it to Beyonce. So don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. And it's a part of getting into alignment. It's a part of listening to the universe. It's a part of doing that self-work. It is. Go book your reading, thealigningsouls.com. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get back into, you know, all of this tea or whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and um no, before we jump into the comments, I actually want to go through the article that was posted on page six. And then we're gonna jump into the comments. Y'all know how we do, see what the people saying. So page six is reporting that Zendaya defends Raw Roach after hurtful Louis Vuitton mix up. Girl, again, 10 months later, like you could have you should have saved this shit. Save it. Like, oh my God. And maybe this is a little bit triggering for me personally because I am that friend or just that person, period. Because it doesn't necessarily have to do with being a friend. But like, I'm that person that speaks up. If I feel something is wrong, I'm going to speak up. I don't give a fuck where I'm at, who is where. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But then you have people that play, you know, play the middleman, that shadow the fence. Okay. Instead of, you know, they wait for you to speak up. Or like, it's like when you at a job and everybody hate the boss and everybody got a problem with the boss. Like the boss calls a random meeting at five o'clock and says, okay, everybody, now we got to work weekends and don't nobody want to work weekends. And everybody debriefing after the briefing. Okay. Everybody in the meeting, after the meeting, going off about the boss and da da da. da but everybody looking to you to be the one to go and speak up. I don't like people like that. I don't. I understand not everybody going to be a leader, but baby, I'm going to need a few more, few more of y'all to step up, okay, and try to. Because I do not like people that play the middleman. I don't. And Zendaya coming out too late, it, mm, we wouldn't be friends. We wouldn't be friends. We wouldn't be friends. To me, if I was law, I would be like, oh, this is a working relationship. Got it. I thought we was close and oh, because your ego and your brands and all of that, like, I get it. You make money, but baby, you're not going to lose that much. You're not going to lose that much by speaking out in defense of me. And it is not even a matter of you saying fuck Disney and fuck Paris, Paris Week. And that. It's not, you ain't even got to do all of that. But you could do something. You could do something. to. But if law like it, I, I still don't. Okay? Let's go ahead and jump into the article. So, no one is euphoric about this fashion. Mix-ups and Daya stars on the cover of Elle's September issue and defended her longtime stylist, Law Roach, who now operates under the title Creative Director after retiring from the stylist industry. I like that for him. I like that. I like that for him. I do. I really do. And you know what? 
just to bring me back into the fold a little bit more. Okay, because this is a video that I'm doing because Miss Asian the Brat, aka Asian Doll, she has some choice words, and I got some choice words to respond back with. Okay, about mm, y'all will see when I do that video, but I'm gonna just say this there are a lot of people who music may not be meant for them, modeling may not be meant for them, um, acting may not be meant for them. Like, that may not be your thing. You might be good at it, but it may not be your thing. You may never get the shine and notoriety and whatnot that you want. And so you have to pivot. You got to pivot a little. You know what I mean? And so instead of feeling like a failure, again, and this is where alignment comes back into the play. Again, I'm going to keep plugging my website and my business, thealignedsouls.com. This is where alignment comes into play because the, the more and more that you try to fight against the universe, you're wasting time. You're wasting time. The same karmic lessons are going to come your way because you're not listening. You're not paying attention. You're focused on what you want instead of what you need, okay? Because a lot of your wants are really more so based off of trauma and it come from a place of lack when you really break it down. Again, that's another video we're going to do a topic on, okay? But the universe could be trying to show you like, hey, 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 hey. You want to be a singer. You want to be a dancer. You want to be an actor. You want to be a chef. You want to be all of these things, whatever creative, right? Maybe that's not necessarily meant for you, or maybe it is meant for you for a certain period of time, right? Season and the reason, right? How about we start you off here, but just know you meant to go somewhere else, okay? We're going to start you off here, but just know your life is going to elevate and transition into way more than you, you ever thought that you were capable of, right? And that seems to be, I don't want to say trend to make it seem like it's trendy. It's just a lot of people are awakening lately into who they are you know what i'm saying like Laura roach is the first we we just saw how tiana taylor was unhappy with music for a long time that was the universe telling her hey babe it's time to switch it up it's time to like you, you dive even deeper it's not that you know you're not meant to do music you're just not meant to do it this way you're not meant to be out there on stage beyonce maybe you're meant to be behind the scenes right we've also seen actors do it um Cedra, Cedra, Cedra. I don't know why I'm thinking of Cedra. I don't know the, uh, why did I get married to the girl, the, the loud girl, the loud girl, Cedra and her twin. Okay. They, they twins, the loud girl. I can't think of her name, but she started off acting in Tyler Perry movies and doing all of these films that we know. And then she realized that directing was her passion. She wanted to, you know, have a school of people acting, you know what I mean? And teach them how to act. You know what I'm saying? So I say all of that to say, that's all a part of your alignment. Any unhappiness that you feel in your life, it's the universe trying to guide you like, here, baby, here's an area where that could be better. And if you're that unhappy in something you're supposed to be the most passionate about, and it's a little more, more than just like the, the growing pains of it, then that's the universe trying to talk to you. Okay. So let's go back into the article. Go ahead. Book you a reading on the Alana Souls .com so I can help you get into alignment. Okay. Um, after working together for years, raw, uh, Law Roach announced his early retirement in March, blaming it on politics and lies. After the shocking announcement, a video of Law searching for his seat next to Desi uh, Zendaya at the Louis Vuitton show during pa Paris Fashion Week went viral on TikTok, with fans worried that their collaborative relationship and friendship was over. On Wednesday, Zendaya cleared up the rumors for the first time, backing up Roach's story about arriving late to the runway show to find that his seat next to her was missing. When it happened, I said, oh, no, I hope people don't try to create something from this. Zendaya 26 recall the Disney alum explained that they rushed to the front row um, that they had trouble finding Law's assigned seat she looks stunning in these photos by the way we're so used to sitting together that he didn't know where to go Zendaya explained but obviously people want to assume the worst of the situation which is not always easy to deal with yeah people are assuming the worst of the situation because baby that's the camera footage that we got we didn't see you saying not a goddamn thing and we also didn't hear not a goddamn thing until five months later so it looked like our assumptions were right. Okay. I rise super hard for my team, especially for the people I love. The Emmy winner insisted. Uh, is that so? Is that so? Does it usually take five months for that love to show up? Okay. Law is involved in every fashion contract, everything I do. If I have an opportunity where he could come with me, he's always going to be there. He's always been my creative director in a sense. And he continues to fill that role because it's more than just clothes on a rare carpet. It's a bigger thing. Boom. Right there. So if he's always been a creative director, yet he was going by fashion stylist, celebrity stylist. That was Law not listening to the universe. 
That was law literally not listening to the universe. But granted, everything happens when it's meant to happen. So, you know, you, you need to learn your lessons when you need to learn your lessons. Like, things happen when it needs to happen. Timing is everything. But even she said, he was always my creative director and much more than a personal stylist. It just took this situation, okay, that the universe delivered to him on a silver platter for him to finally understand. Yeah, I'm bigger than just a stylist. I'm bigger than that. I'm bigger than that. I promise you. All of this really affected his ego. And when I say ego, I don't mean like in a egotistical way, like, oh, he needs to be humble. No, I mean, it shattered him as a person. It made him feel worthless. It did. It made him feel disposable and it made him feel like scraps, like that bitch over there. And that's why now it's like, I don't want to just be a stylist. I want to be a creative director. I want to make more of an impact because I'm impactful. I'm telling y'all, book a personal read in TheAlignedSouls.com. I know my shit. Okay. Um, let's keep it going because my dumplings probably in there burning child. Our relationship is like family, so I don't think I'm going anywhere. And even if I wanted to, she wouldn't let me. Wrote 45, told the magazine, called it Zendaya. Such a big superstar, one of his biggest supporters. Um... Okay, do I really need to... I don't need to read all of that. Okay, so I guess we done. Definitely let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment... Okay, girl, where I go? <laughs> yeah. Definitely let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. As if I give a fuck. I pretty much gave y'all my, you know, my opinion. But now I'm rushing to the end of this video because, girl, I think my dumplings is... Burnt. Okay? They might be burnt. I can't fuck up another pot. Okay, I done did that the other day. I let each and every one of y'all comment below as if you give a fuck. And definitely make sure you stream my music at... Comment below as if I give a fuck and stream my music as if you give a fuck, okay? And new single coming song. I love each and every one of y'all in HD Audio, baby. Book a reading on thealinasouls.com and subscribe to the Patreon. I'll talk to y'all in another one. Bye. I'm trying to fuck now, so baby, let's dance. Fuck up my baby right here on my legs, yeah. I'm trying to take it to my